in discussing the demands for grants of the finance ministry we have got to see to what extent the administration of this particular ministry has led to the development of our national wealth and the securing of the welfare which our state claims to have in view para madam we must try to analyze very carefully the working of this particular ministry because it is not merely a department of the government so to say but it is the nerve center of the administration of the country i would like first to refer to the role of foreign capital because in determining the manner in which the permission of capital issues has been granted by the particular administration we should keep in our mind to what extent the interests of our nation have been served i fully endorse the statement which the previous speaker has made so far as repatriation of the investments made by foreigners and of profits are concerned we have dealt with this topic quite a number of times and i do not want to reiterate anything apart from only supporting what the honorable member who just now spoke said para i would now like to deal with the investments of foreigners in india madam the government of our country accepted the proposition that in allowing foreign investment it should come in only in such industry and such form of production wherein our national investors will not come forward and in which technical skill is wanted there is also one other factor which the industrial policy of our government of 1948 as adumbrated further in 1949 by the prime minister laid down it specifically said that the control and ownership of such concern should as far as possible be in the hands of indian nationals and the technical know how of our country should be developed i would like to emphasize the figures that have been put forward for the last few years from 1947 till the end of 1952 or the early part of 1952 it has been reported that rupees 19 crores of foreign capitals have been allowed to be invested in our country of that practically more than rupees 6 crores have been allowed to be invested in managing agency and trading enterprises in our country para so far as government policy is concerned we find that a sum of rupees 4 crores 
has been allowed to be invested this year we do not want how it is to be used up we have been told that during the period 1948-53 nearly rupees 35 lakhs have been allowed to be invested in textile machinery and generally in the textile industry we have seen to what extent cotton and jute have been dominated by the national capital and to what extent they play the role as against the demand for them we know further what the government is doing in regard to these industries and how the indian counterpart in these industries are behaving then why this further penetration of foreign capital para even in regard to the expansion scheme we find that points soaps electric fans and machine tools are some of the industries where the government is allowed foreign interest to establish or expand their factories it will adversely complete with the production of the country when the indigenous producers do not find any market in this sphere therefore we have got to see to what extent the capital issue has been regulated by this government and particularly by the finance department so that the national well-being of the country could be guaranteed para then we have got to look into the fact as to how far the new industries are allowed to function so far as the oil refineries are concerned some of them have been established and some more are going to be established very soon in the control of the administration the indians have no share there are only preference shareholders and they have no voice in the management so far as the administrative aspect in this industry is concerned the most important part of it is the technical no how they do not guarantee that they will train the indians that means they say even after 20 years we will have to face the problem of the no how in respect of the oil refineries i do not know why the government are showing softness to foreigners in this matter para then we have another investment in collaboration with the indian chemical industries for the manufacture of civil explosives here as far as i have gathered only we, 20% indian capital is going the majority of the shares will remain with the indian chemical industries nobody else has been allowed to make any investment it would have been better if other companies and private individuals had been given an opportunity to purchase the shares